And welcome back to Good Morning Vail. We've got uh, Fran Micah with the Vail Police Department joining us in the studio. Your first time in front of a TV camera. Fran, nice to see you today. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome. How are you? Good? Good. You enjoying the cooler temperatures of fall? What are you thinking about? Is Absolutely. Just, you like it? Oh my God. Are you kidding? This is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I mean, there's not really a bad month, really. I mean, we get such a nice mix of everything. You know, and these shoulder seasons, these mud seasons, they're not really mud seasons anymore, I don't no, think. No, not at all. Do you, so you work for the town of Vail? Yes. Almost right, 15 years. 15 years. Right there in the heart of Vail. As soon as you get off I-70 on the Vail exit, you're right there on the We're right. We're right there. Across from the Four Seasons. In the municipal building. Um, this is, so we've talked uh, with um, Dwight Henninger, the, the chief of police last week, about some great things that the Vail Police Department is doing. Right. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit or a lot about lost and found. found. I mean, really, because this is the town's lost and found. It is. So it must be massive. You must have some great stuff in there. I mean, really. You wouldn't believe what people leave, lose, or don't realize that they've few, lost. Off the top of your head, give me a few examples of what, I'm sure there's iPads and phones and things like that. but there's And skis and snowboards and watches and wallets. And it's amazing what people lose. And clothing galore. Clothing galore. So how does it work? So if someone finds something like in Vail Village sitting on a bench, right. for example, they'll either call you guys or they'll bring it right to you. Right. They'll turn it into one of our code enforcement or officers. And there's a lot of code enforcement guys around Vail too and ladies. There's a group exactly. of them. Exactly. They're driving the white pickup trucks and, right. and they're not the actual police, but they're out there just to, to help people. They are. Yeah. In fact, there's a woman who lost her Gucci bag last week. Did you find it? <laughs> it was turned in. It was turned into one of our code enforcement officers. It still had $195 in the wallet. I mean, it's amazing. People are so honest, and they really, truly want to help and make sure that people get their things back. And that's great. It really, is. Really, that is great, because we could be living somewhere else where you would have a very small lost and found because people were taking everything all the time. Right. Right? Right. That's great. So how about if someone is looking for something, they lost something, not necessarily something was found, but they misplaced something like this purse. Tell us right. about Like, how does the process work? Well, they'll call us and see if it's been turned in. And if it hasn't, uh, they'll either give us information to put into a, a, a new, it's not new actually, it was a website that we um, collaborated yeah. with okay. Vail Resorts. It's called chargerback.com. And w we started that uh, before the 2015 races. Okay, and here's a look at the website while we're talking, but this is the website, chargerback. Chargerback.com. Okay. And we use that along with Vail Resorts uh, to collaborate on things that had been lost and people entered the information where they lost it, when they lost it, what, what was the item. And that's how that information gets into that system. And then when it is found, then we try to match right. the lost with the found. So the best description you can give of it, if you have photographs of of the product, product or whatever it is that right. you lost, any of that stuff is going to help to kind of narrow down your search options and help you guys find the product. Right. Yeah. So VailGov, tell us about, so VailGov, VailGov.com, that's, that's the main website for the town of Vail, right? Right, it okay. is. And yeah. they can go in that website too and enter lost and found into that website. So here you go, please describe your lost item. And it's pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. So if you've been around for the summer and you still misplace something, it's not too late. How long do you hold on to stuff? 90 days. Okay. Right. 90 days. I can't wait to see that. I want to see how big the room is. Fran, thanks for coming in. It's nice to meet <laughs> oh, you. You're welcome. You guys thanks, do such Mark. a great job. And, oh, thank and you. And like you said, uh, we live in a very honest community here, and we're very fortunate to have that. And everybody's out there looking out for everybody else. It's amazing. Thanks, Fran. Thank you. Okay, we got more of the show coming up here. I've got a weather report after the break, and also uh, we're going to give you some details on a great liquor store right in the heart of town called Avon Liquor. We'll be right back.